Hello and a very good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and indeed, welcome back if you joined us this morning on Wake Up Call. If you did join us this morning on Wake Up Call, you'll have a bit of an idea as to what we are going to be launching on launch day today. And you'll also have a bit of an idea uh, that this brand new product is creating waves. Loads of you on Wake Up Call this morning were saying how much you love the brand new Gemini Slimline Aperture Cut and Embossed folders and actually so many of you loving them so much that you've already bought them I can tell you uh, a fifth of the stock has already gone because these were snapped up you saw the concept you saw the idea you said I'm having these especially at that price as well um, let's dive straight on in here and have a look at some of the things that you could be making uh, with these you're gonna get three folders in your collection I'll give you all the details you need in just a second but let's get some inspiration uh, with the lovely Jan who is back in the building uh, hello Jan and aren't these fantastic oh they are honestly I had a ball with these this morning we did a quick demo with them this morning on wake up call and obviously we've got the launch show now so I can go into a bit more detail with them different Different styles different things to do with them limitless really because the folder gives you those apertures to work with there are so many it's probably uh, an exhaustive list as to how much you could do what you could do you know different die cuts different stamps different techniques in there but just to give you a few examples of what they look like so you've got the circle aperture with the polka dots and again we've just popped a couple of butterflies and a sentiment behind there absolutely gorgeous and then you've got the square aperture with the chevrons and again, I just think, you know, using those ink backgrounds, I know a lot of you bought into those Cosmic Shimmer Misters, you could make the backgrounds with those, you could do it with paints, whatever you fancy. And then we're back to the circles there on a landscape um, design, just doing your little... Uh, M shape there so again using those autumn leaf connection collection mm. and again you know it just shows you depending on what you put in those little apertures can make a huge difference to the design you might want to fill those in and put shaker elements behind them so this one coming up has got those little butterflies in there but again you've got some uh, shaker pieces in there absolutely gorgeous and then this was the one that I made this morning on wake up call using that heart design and again just popping a few shaker pieces in the center there with the center on either side so as I say that there are absolutely endless combinations that you could do with these but we're getting the folders to you and that does main part of the work you've got to decide what goes in them so yeah can't wait to get started with these then honestly I know and do you know what I love about these so much as well they are at such a great price for you I think sometimes you know with uh, launches you think to yourself oh yeah I really like those but maybe I can't stretch to the 60 70 80 pounds or whatever it might be today uh, you can get all three of these cut and embossed folders at that unbelievable price £23.98 or $27.12 uh, is the platinum deal on these. Um, unbelievable value for money. It basically works out that you're buying two, you're getting the third for free. And that is on the launch as well. It always surprises me, and I know I said about this yesterday, but I'll say it again today. When we launch a new product, you, you, like we should sell the, the new product to you on launch day at full price. I know, I what know do it's we always a discount. There. Yeah, and that's in addition to your club inspire discount. So you're almost getting two discounts, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. It's on a brand new product. We, I think you wouldn't we wouldn't get that we, anywhere else, would you? We don't help ourselves here, Jan, do we? <laughs> we really don't help ourselves. Uh, it's because we love you so much, you see. But the point is, look at the price you should be paying on launch day: forty-five pounds, fifty dollars, twenty-three pounds ninety-eight today is platinum, or twenty-seven dollars twelve. Even if you're not, uh, it is well twenty-nine ninety-eight or thirty-three ninety. It's basically you buy two, you get the third one for free, uh, and they are absolutely absolutely gorgeous and kind of fitting in with that trend as we chatted about these um, slimline cards love the fact that you've got um, you know the embossed on there you've got the cut in there too so brilliant um, for making those uh, shaker cards with brilliant for popping in your own little sentiments with your own little messages in I just think these are super super cute you've got the hearts you've got the beautiful circles there as well and then the squares uh, with that wonderful chevron uh, detailing on the emboss brand new today a fifth of the stock has already gone jump in and grab these because I'm gonna say to you that you will be uh, using these time and time and time again and actually even if you've never crafted before this is the kind of stuff that you'd be wanting to get because it's 
quick, easy cards, Jan, isn't it? They are. It's like, you know, the enfolder does most of the work, well, does all of the work for you. What, yeah. you do, what else you do to it can, can be very minimal in just maybe popping a stamp sentiment in there, or you can decorate it up to your heart's content. So it takes you on a journey as to where, you know, how much work you want to put in. If you're batch making, you know, batch make, do all the fronts, pop them through the emboss and, and you know, do that. If you've got the, uh, the large Gemini, you'd probably be able to get two of these side by side. Uh, do all the embossing and then work out how you're going to decorate them. They'd look nice as gift sets. Yeah. Uh, maybe doing one design but do it in different colours or you might pick a colour and do all three different designs. So, so many different ways of putting them together. Um, I just think it's sort of like, it just takes you know, wherever your imagination wants to go. Mm. And whatever collection, you know, what, what, what's your favourite collection? Uh, I know we've got, I've got one later on using some of those cute little woodland animals. We've got some samples using the watercolour collection that we've got on the show later. So again, however you want to go with it, it might just be putting a die cut behind it. It might be, um, I was just thinking while you were showing the boards, Ben, I think it may be pieces of fabric Lovely behind the little idea. windows to start and take it into that multimedia yeah. aspect. Mixed media, you know, pieces of fabric behind behind there it may be um i'm just trying to think all sorts of different things that you could put in there you could actually do um what was i working on the other day with the alcohol um reinkers and do little patches behind it with those Great so yeah idea. take it wherever you want it so shall we go straight into a demo can i just say before you do yeah. i just want to um let you know <laughs> these are flying we were at uh, 10 percent on wake up call started the show on 20 percent. we're now at a quarter of the stock gone literally oh. in the first 10 minutes goodness loads me. of these are flying oh, out the door right. so let's um, be quick glad you're liking them yeah <laughs> me too i think something like this where the concept's really been thought about and a lot of the work's done for you it makes it easy to craft it makes it accessible so all you guys out there that are just starting your crafting journey you know mm. that are sort of joining us to to get a few hints and tips this is a really good one for beginners it's it's sort of it's almost designed the card from for you and then just decide what you actually want to pop in the windows you know so we're going to start off with those square chevrons um so you've got the square aperture in there and then you've got the embossed detail in the chevron design so these come to you at three and three quarter inches wide and eight and a half inches tall so you can see we've got that nice sort of tall slimline design whether it be in a portrait design or whether you want to we're going to do a landscape one later as well just to show you some different sort of ideas um, so yeah I'm going to pop this one through the the machine but I just wanted to talk about the concept of a cut and emboss folder mm -hmm. for anybody that hasn't seen them if you're just joining us today if it's the first time you've found crafters tv first of all welcome welcome all right we love i know we're getting new viewers all the we time are. so it's it's good to see you uh and i know some people might not have come across these before you know you're more more sort of used to an embossing folder but this has got a die in it as well so you've actually got on one side here if i put this underneath it you can see we've got the detail on this side with those chevron pieces and then the four uh, the three square apertures there but on this side we've actually got some metal embedded into that folder so this stays with the folder it's part of it and we've got three square um, almost like a nested square in there with pieces of foam inside so we're going to leave the foam in there don't try and take it out it's there for a reason and the way I normally explain it is when you die cut we normally take either the brush or the pokey tool to poke the pieces out of oh, the die yeah. cut you can't do this with the folder because obviously it's solid here so just by putting that little bit of foam in here it helps release those bits when you've put it through the machine so having said that let's show you what I mean so I've just cut my cardstock to fit inside and we're going to start out with the craft card you know that this is a favorite of mine and I'm going to keep it nice and simple for this first one so pop it inside and then we're going to close it with the metal work on the top so this is going to cut down through the cardstock and then it's going to emboss that detail in at the same time so these behave just like a 2d embossing folder so if you're using our gemini machines for the electronic machines you're just going to need your two clear cutting plates if you're using the MIDI, they will fit through the MIDI as well, you would just need to add your purple shim with them to make it up to the right depth. 
If you're using other machines out there that are a different brand, it would be whatever you need to emboss a 2D folder. So I'm just going to trap mine in there between the two glass plates and then pass that through my Gemini. And it's as simple as that. That's that work done. So all I've done so far is cut a piece of cardstock down and popped it in the folder. So when we have a look now inside, if I open this up now, you can see we've got here the piece that's done the work. Mm -hmm. So we've got that beautiful piece that's all embossed now. If I just tilt that a little bit, you can see those chevron designs on there. And then you've also got the, what I call the freebies, because you get the little pieces here as well. You see how easy those come out because that foam is raised mm. to allow them to pop out. So, you know, it depends. You might use these in with your design. You might sort of raise this up on foam and pop these lower back. It may be that you don't need these for this particular project. I like to actually stick all three of them together and it makes a nice substantial piece then that you could use as a, an embellishment there so again keep those to one side and then one of my favorite tricks with the uh, the craft card is to just bring in some of the gilding wax i just think it brings out that detail yes absolutely so i've got the king gold which just happens to be my favorite one out of all the five different colors i like this one and all i'm going to do is just with the pad of my finger is actually pop over the top and just feel where that embossing is and it just highlights the areas that are raised so let's just pop that all the way around and we're just going to highlight those sort of chevrons and then you get some nice embossed detail around the aperture as well which almost makes it look as if it's on different layers yeah and that's what your embossing is all about really it's about sort of that illusion that some things are at a different height to others so again just all the way around here just to highlight this just to say as well we've got lots of the cosmic shimmer um gilding polishes on the show as well if you want to check the uh, the show page for those uh, which you might want to pop into your um, your baskets loads of people watching as well it's a busy busy show there's lots of different colors as far as the um metallic gilding polishes are concerned uh, check those out on the um, the website as i say they're individually five pounds 75 or nine dollars 99 but um, really worth popping into your basket um fans in from maryland allison says hello from westlake village hello from texas says elizabeth and connie's in from New Jersey. Uh, Gilmore says, hello, Ben, Jan and team. And actually Gilmore said they've had snow in Michigan. Oh, wow. Already. Already. Um, Betty's in from Oklahoma. Uh, I won't sing it again. Uh, <laughs> Come I on, said, you know you want to. No, I don't know the second. No, John, you shush. Uh, I don't know the second. I don't know the words, do I? You we should said, have had a look in the break, shouldn't we, what the lyrics were? Um, yeah. Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving on. <laughs> Barbara says, hello from Indiana, uh, and Gilmore says, I'm ready to be dazzled by Jan's creativity and ready to sing along with Ben. I'm not singing Oklahoma, though. We'll sing oh, something else later on. You've let us down. You're embarrassing me now. <laughs> Right, I've just cleaned that off the mat so that we can carry on then. And as I say, I'm going to keep this one nice and simple to start off with. Just dry that off a little bit so that we don't get uh, the card damp on this occasion. Mm -hmm. So I've created my card blank and I've just created a couple of mats and layers as well. So as far as card blank goes, we're looking at eight and three quarter inches by four. So our A4 cardstock here in the UK is eight and a quarter inches. So I've just trimmed that little tiny bit off to make it eight inches, eight and three quarter inches tall, and then scored it in half to make that nice tall skinny card, okay? And then I've cut a couple of mats and layers. So I've just got some textured cardstock in the brown. Okay. And then I've got a piece from the autumn collection there. Just now, I thought, seeing as we've just moved into autumn, no. it'd be nice to start with this one. Lovely. So let's just get those layers in place. Uh, I'm just going to textured cardstock, sort of textured on both sides. So it's just a case of finding which one's got the. Uh, I always have a feel and see which is the most pronounced. Mm. Are you a fan of autumn, Jan? Fall? I do like autumn, I do. And I wish we called it fall. Yeah. I think it's very descriptive of the actual season. Yes. And I do. It's one of my favourite seasons. I'm not a lover of the very hot weather. Uh, Why do they call it fall, says Johnny? Isn't it because the leaves fall? <laughs> or is it. Isn't it? That's what it is. That's what I think. Because of the falling Why did they leaves. Call it fall. Somebody, well, you knew somebody was going to ask, didn't you? Fall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And conkers fall as well, don't they? The conkers. Yeah. Well, everything does. Yeah. Everything falls. The acorns. Everything falls. <laughs> My little grandson's been out collecting leaves and things to do some artwork with. Bless him. Yeah, he's loved it. He loves being outside. Yeah. 
So we're just going to layer those on. So that gives us a base to work with then with this piece. And then I'm just going to bring some foam to, um, to lift this slightly. We're not going to do any shaker work on this one. I just want to keep it fairly uh, straightforward. So, but I think just to lift it a little bit throws that shadow into the background with the aperture. So I'm just going to pop and be very brave. What you got there, Jan? What have I got? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. What you, you tell begins me? Begins with an F. Uh, an F. It yeah. might be. Yeah. What might it be? Foam on a roll. 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 Hey. Yes. There we go. We have to get it in, don't we? Yes. We have to. Brilliant Love stuff. It. Love it. Oh dear. So I'm just going to literally pop this across the edges and then just to bridge it so that it doesn't dip in the middle we'll pop a little bit across here so this is just to mount it on foam this time if you were going to make a shaker card with it then just make sure that the foam actually touches all the way across so that shaker pieces aren't escaping mm. but i just literally want this to uh, to build up some height you could do it with foam pads if you wish so i'm hoping i've got everything crossed now that it's going to behave you know what i'm like with foam tape I think it was sent it's, to challenge me. Well, it was earlier on when we weren't watching you do it, you did it fine. It's normally when we sit here and we yeah. all go quiet and watch you do it, that you can't do it. So here we go. So yeah, we'll just take the, the pressure off for a second. <laughs> you know what, I think this would be nice as well. It reminds me, like having the three squares there, like the old like film reels, like, I think it'd be quite nice to have oh, some little gosh, photos yeah. behind. Oh, little, uh, yeah, little photographs would look terrific, wouldn't it? Yeah. Done in black, mm -hmm. do this bit in black. Black, yeah. Yeah, and then have little photos Black and behind white photos, it. How maybe? gorgeous! Scrapbook page. Ah, oh, yes. Down the side of a scrapbook page. That like would be that, brilliant. With the photo. Oh, see the, the limitless. Yeah. Limitless ideas for it. Let us know what you're going to do with yours. If you're yes, buying please. into this today, let us know what you're going to, what plans you've got for it. We're heading towards thirty percent of the stock, by the Gosh, way. It really is flying, isn't it's it? It's unbelievably busy, and I'm not surprised. It's a price point for everyone. This, honestly, twenty pounds, twenty dollars. You've got to grab these today because um, you might not be able to grab them tomorrow the way these are going, they're <laughs> flying out the door. But like you said, Jan, you know, you, you touched on it earlier, these are perfect for everybody. You don't need to be, you know, level 10 crafter to use these, do you? Not at all. And I know so many of you craft with the children, mm. with the grandchildren. If you've got craft groups and things like this, you know, it's a nice, easy one to teach. It's a nice, easy one. The folder itself will th fit through humidity. So from the children's point of view, they don't have to be using a, a machine that's got electronic parts. And you you know let them decide what they're going to pop they might want to draw some pictures to put inside of it you know turn it this way you've got that landscape effect as well it could be sort of the family inside there oh, yeah. i know people do those little pebble pictures i've seen pictures done with buttons and things like that as i say they, they, there's an absolutely endless array of uh, of things that you could put What's into the, pebble the picture the pe have you not seen those the little no. pictures that you make with pebbles uh we're always collecting them when we're up at our caravan yeah they're like little rocks and you can make people so I've got my, my daughter made me one and it's got um, Nana and Pops, which is me and my husband, and then yeah. a little baby one, which is baby Toby. And it's just a pebble for the body and a pebble for the head. Right. And then a slightly smaller one for me and then the little one for baby. And oh, the, cute. Have a look online. There's some really nice ones, honestly. There's all oh. sorts of different designs, yeah. So what I've done here is this is part of these were from the autumn collection as well. So I'm just going to, I've popped them through my um, sticker maker machine and I'm just going to pop the grateful on the top bit there. Try and get it straight, Jan, would be better, wouldn't it? When you get a mo as well, Jan, um, and I'll ask now so I don't forget, Sarah wants to know how big the aperture openings are on the square one. Oh, right, let's have a little Only look. Only when we you get a chance. That. We can do Thank you. two inches, two inches square. Brilliant, so Thank that's you. a nice size, isn't it, for a little mm. photograph in there. They would look terrific. I like that idea on a scrapbook page. I might have to... Uh, have a think about one of those. You can borrow my idea, Janet. Yes, fine. can I take it? You can have that one, yeah. So again, I've just got that grateful thanks there. That's the idea of the day so far, I think, isn't it? I love it. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Oh, I've what impressed Jan. I feel really happy about what myself now. What was that Nicola's suggestion earlier? She had a good idea. Oh, Nicola's idea was... Um, what did she suggest earlier? Oh, wrapping paper for oh, the Oh, of course, stamps. yeah, with the stamps. Later yeah, on. That was, uh, that was for Creative Cravings, yeah. yeah. So we've got our design on there. And then all I've done from that same collection is just die cut a few of those autumn leaves. I've sort of kept it very autumnal here today. So we're literally just going to pop these on and build up a, a design. I've started the foam pads off ready. Beautiful. Because we're going over the gilding wax, I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of wet glue to the yeah. back as well, just for insurance. 
and then we're just literally going to pop those up one side and keep it as i say nice and simple mm. to start off with uh, as I say, it's, it's, see, see how many, let us know, if, you, if you're buying into this collection today, yeah. let us know your ideas for the apertures. What else could we pop in those apertures? Yeah, maybe, maybe you can come up with a, a better idea than the one of using it like a film, but I don't know if you, I don't know, that was a great and the traffic light one's idea. great, isn't it? Oh, the traffic the light traffic one. traffic light, yeah. It's super. So yeah, I'm just going to leave that as it is. I've covered up my thanks there, but never mind. Yep. All yeah. right. Hanks, great Hanks. Hanks. Okay, great Tom, Hanks. that's for Tom. Yeah. <laughs> so if I turn that one around for you and let you have a look at that uh, on close-up. He is a Platinum <laughs> member, actually. He's probably watching today. There you go, Tom, that one's for you. Maybe the leaf needed to be a little bit further over there, but yeah, you get the idea with that one. So that was your square aperture, and that's yep. got the chevron embossing detail on it there, yeah? Oh, this is brilliant. I love this so much. Um, brilliant creations from Jan. You guys are loving these as well. Lots of love for fall as well. Let us know, actually, in the comments what you're going to be using these for. Let us know if you're a big fan of fall, of autumn as well. It seems like a lot of you are. Um, Sabrina just saying these would be great for shaker cards. Yeah, absolutely right. Um, loving the slimline card, says Clarice, simple and elegant. Barbara says, hmm, I'm thinking of buying today. You should absolutely grab these, Barbara. Absolutely, you will love these. Uh, they're so cute, says Kathy. Johnny's just told me to tell you to be quick because they are absolutely flying out of here. Uh, Patricia's in, saying hello again from Ohio. Uh, ordered these after wake-up call this morning. Looking forward to the two hours with Jan. Loving all the shapes, says Alison. Um, Karen saying good morning from South, Southern West Virginia. I just wanted to say that I'm thoroughly enjoying watching you explain stuff so well thank you for that and Linny Jones says Ben it's called fall because you slip on the leaves and fall over giving everyone else a good laugh that would be my, uh, my my interpretation of it yeah it sounds like the kind of thing that I would do as well <laughs> um, and Deborah hello Deborah Barn for says agree with Jan I'm not a lover of hot sunny temperatures but I love autumn and all the beautiful autumnal colors well hey if you want to be able to recreate that um, card which Jan has just made there, this is the uh, embossing folder that you will need right there. Um, it's going to come in this brand new collection, launch today here on Crafters TV. Uh, and already we are heading towards a third of the stock gone. And again, just to show you, uh, you know, a completely different way of using this embossing folder to the demo that we've just seen. They're so super for creating these little scenes, for almost creating little uh, mini stories. I really love them. Um, you're also going to get in the collection uh, your hearts as well uh, and again I loved uh, Jan, Jan showed this earlier on too but great for using as little shaker cards and I love the fact that um, you know if you can position your um, your foam in such a way to maybe leave a couple of them blank and then having a shaker in just one which I think is super cute and then finally uh, you've got your um, your circles as well um, and I'll show it again I'll keep showing this right throughout the show it was Martina who designed um, this card I think that's so I think it's a brilliant idea uh, for a well done you know you've passed your driving test the traffic lights going on there it's a really good idea isn't it a really cute idea and I think like you said you've got such a great array of shapes in here that you're going to come up with your own ideas you'll get these back and all of a sudden the light bulb will go and you're ah oh, I thought of a really great idea um, and you're just going to love using them so simple to use and a great price a really really great price today you're paying for two you're getting the third for free on launch day on the day that we launched them we're giving one away for free it makes no sense but don't you worry about that you just snap these up it, it's a price for everyone today I truly believe that 20 just over 20 pounds 27 dollars if you're platinum um, grab them do not miss out there's so much that you can do with them. Uh, and as I said, the whole point about these is that they are for everybody. You know, you don't have to be top level crafter to, to, to use these. Um, you can be a complete novice, complete beginner, and you'll be able to create cards like that straight off the bat. Um, I also just wanted to bring to your attention something which has proved really, really popular. Um, yesterday, um, we had this on launch party, so we thought we would bring it back. Um, the Craft Kit Collection, it was our Explorer Kit uh, from yesterday and the reason this ties in quite nicely with the show and I know it's something that Jan's going to look at in just a little while is that one of the um, kits that we've got is the mix and match embossing folders so again looking more at those embossing folders and this is a lovely kit for the fact that not only do you get your embossing folders in there uh, but there's a cut and emboss folder too um, we'll do an unboxing with Jan in, in just a little while and show you around that however I just wanted to point out uh, that you get this box here but then also within this deal, we're giving you your, um, your penny sliders craft kit. So that's box 35. I think this one is 39. So you've got 35 and 39. These are normally 25 pounds each, right? 
Uh, the deal which we had yesterday, which we've rolled over today because it was so popular, you're getting both for £30, which is amazing. For your platinum, £24 or $24 for both. And the great thing about these, again, is if you're new, it's a brilliant introduction to embossing folders. It's a brilliant introduction to your penny sliders. If you are someone who collects them and you haven't yet got these, it's a great price. Also, a lot of people yesterday, Jan, were chatting about these boxes as being um, great gift ideas, great Christmas gifts. I was just thinking that, Ben. I just thought, you know, if you have got them yourself, I'd be thinking towards, you know, if you've got friends that, that like crafting as well, you know, both of those, absolutely great for Christmas gifts or if you're involved in Secret Santa or anything oh, like yeah. that. And so easy to wrap up. I like all my Christmas presents in boxes because <laughs> they're so easy to wrap. And then think, you know, you could even stamp your own wrapping paper like we were talking about earlier or even emboss your own paper to actually wrap them up with yeah but I just think that at that price even if I'd all well I have already got them I'd be thinking about them for my crafty friends mm. as to just as little thank you gifts or Christmas gifts or even to put away for a birthday gift you know in the future it doesn't have to be something coming up straight away it's a case of get it while it's on offer absolutely and the other thing to say about these as well and I, I don't know why it always makes me think when I've got the penny sliders but um the uh, the goodies that you get in here the dies and the stamps are exclusive to the boxes so I always think with the penny sliders um for example in here you've got the um the dolphin you've got the little mouse and the unicorn in mm -hmm. there those weren't the characters that were in the penny sliders collection no. so it's all exclusive content jan isn't it it is yeah so it sort of almost extends it if you bought into the penny sliders as a collection then this gives you sort of extra scope with it as well it will work standalone and it will work if you've got the other details as well you've got all that mix and match uh, ability so yeah a great collection there a great set of boxes although I, I like them all i've got all of them ben have you really i'm running out of space i am running out of space i really am i'm gonna have to think about how I store them because they were all lined up in number order and now they're all stacked on the top and now they're going a bit higher and I'm just running out of space I might have to start and condense some of the uh, the earlier ones so if you've got them all and you, you have condensed them let me know what you've done with them I know I read one lady's comment and she said she'd put all the envelopes and cards in one box ah. she would put all the stamps in another box she would put all the dies in another box I thought that way you can actually you know if you're just wanting some card blanks and envelopes you can go straight to them so yeah let me know if you've condensed yours and how you've done it because I really am seriously running out of space I'd, I'd love to hear from anyone as well who's got like some of the original ones like mm -hmm. the first sort of three or four I'd yeah. love to um, hear yeah. about those as well um, get in touch with us on Facebook and on YouTube so busy on the comments today. I'll just read a few more of these uh, and then we'll come back and have a look at these um, uh, cutting and boss folders again because they're flying out the door um, Khaki Blue saying the craft card that um, you used almost uh, had a look of leather about it um, Pam Craven on Facebook hi Pam uh, just joining to say hi to Ben and Jan good to see you again Jan and just to update you uh, the insurance has agreed to repair my car oh fantastic fantastic poor old Pam did you not hear about no. that she came up to do craft factor a couple of oh, weeks yes. ago yeah and on her journey up here she had a massive car accident oh, no. and the person who actually caused it drove on and then the after effects of it she ended up with oh it was a nightmare for a blesser fortunately you were okay, Pam, weren't you? I hope you've not had any after effects from it, but it sounded horrendous. And then the next day, she was here as large as life, doing her craft factor. Huh. Absolutely loved having her in the studio. It was great. So, yes, much love to you, Pam. I yeah. hope you're doing all right, my love. Oh, well, it's good news to hear about the insurance. And, Pam, yeah, all, all our love from uh, all of us here at, uh, at Crafters TV. Sending you lots of love. Um, Gilmore just saying, the changing of the colours outside is so pleasing to look at. I love the snowy winters, too. Uh, love being able to experience all the four seasons and more ideas before we go back to um, to Jan the squares and circles could be used with Independence Day uh, like the traffic light concept I love that oh, just use the colours of your flag for yeah. the US red white and blue absolutely yep um, and Lily Rugg saying fall is also my favourite season I love the cooler weather and the gorgeous colours here in New England uh, also an uh, early November birthday uh, turning the big 5-0 in a month well you'll have Ooh. to remind us about that and we'll give you a big birthday shout out of on course. the big day itself Right, we are fast approaching 30% of the stock gone. It's super busy. Uh, shall we see some more? I think we shall. You guys are super excited about these. Which one are you going to use next, Jan? Right, we're going to go on to the circles this time. So pretty polka dots. So this time we've got uh, the main part of the embossing of the polka dots. And then again, you've got those uh, embossed detail around the apertures. It makes it look sort of 3D. And then the sky's the limit with what you actually want to pop inside the circle. So 
So we're going to go down that woodland theme. And I have actually stuck with the craft card for this one. So my apologies that we've got two craft card in a row, but I just thought it lent itself with that woodland theme. Yeah. And I've got some of the, I've got one of the little characters from the woodland theme kit. So again, cut my card down to size. So just if you've just joined us and uh, you missed the top of the show, the folders are eight and uh, three quarters, sorry, three and... Get that right, Jan. <laughs> three and three quarters in width and eight and a half inches tall. So that gives you that lovely, long, skinny sort of panel to work on either in portrait or in landscape if you wanted to do them horizontally. I'm going to do one that style later on as we go along. So I'm just going to stick with this one again. So I've cut my card down to fit inside the folder and we're literally going to open this up. I'm going to have the metal on the left-hand side Pop my cardstock inside and line it up and then close this together so that the metal's closing down and it's going to cut through the cardstock and then it's also going to emboss all that detail in there. So I'm just using my Gemini plates for this and they fit nicely just inside your junior plates if you've got the junior. I tend to use, as you know, my junior plates with the large Gemini. They will also fit in your MIDI, uh -huh. but obviously the MIDI doesn't come with the plates. These behave like an ordinary embossing folder, so you would just need to sit them. Shall we put one through the MIDI? Oh, why not? Just for a bit of a laugh. You. Let me just grab my MIDI off here and we'll actually do this one through the MIDI just to show you. So just to get this in uh, in situ and then as I say I tend to sit my folder on top of the shim but it will work exactly the same if you have the shim on top of the folder. It's, it doesn't matter either way. It's just about bringing it to the right depth so that the machine applies the pressure and you get that cut mm. and the embossed detail. So again I'm just going to feed this in and pop it through and we're going to get exactly the same result as if we'd use the uh, the larger machine there so just just going through effortlessly effortlessly through there mm -hmm. pop that one across there out of the way and then pop the shim to one side and again once we've opened this up you can see Great. we've got that lovely detail that's been cut look how perfectly that's yeah. cut you know you've not got to worry about can you cut out a circle have you got the right size and then these You've either got these to use within your design or you've got some freebies there. I'd be saving these to stamp sentiments on and things like that if you weren't using them in the design. So it really is as simple as that. And then what I'm going to do this time is just bring in a little bit of water reactive ink. And I'm just using Bordeaux for this one. I wanted a nice sort of woodland colour there. And I'm just going to apply a little bit just to take... Um, not take away the craft card, but just to enhance it a little bit. And it also brings out the embossing that little bit as well so really lightly and can you see how those polka dots sort of spring to life there yeah so we're just going to follow that all the way round do you know i do this as well and this is another day i don't mind sharing it with you it's maybe not the best one but i i've, I've seen the new bond movie recently Ooh. and you know at the start of bond they have like the gun barrel yeah where he walks through yeah yeah so you could if you have that on the um, horizontal you could sort of do it in the sort of maybe the gray and the black and then i'd put you could put <sighs> images of your favorite bond character Absolutely. i'd have roger moore Roger Moore. Oh. He was my favourite Bond. I must admit, I was quite partial to Mr Connery. Oh, yes. It's just the voice. Oh, yes. Just sit, listen to him all day long. Yes, because yeah. he talked like this, Jan. Oh, yes. yes. The very, name's Bond. Very good. James Bond. Very good. 007. But See, I preferred Roger Moore, because he sort of spoke like this. I must admit, I've not seen any of the new ones, so I can't actually comment on... Uh, well, it's Daniel Craig, isn't it, that's doing the new ones? Yeah, Daniel Craig, I, he's, he's been all right, but I don't... They're not real. They're not. They are Bond movies, but they haven't. They haven't had the feel of the Bond movies. He's not my Bond. He's not Jan. your Bond. No. Yeah, as I say, I haven't seen the ones with him in, so I can't really comment. But uh, but yeah, I must admit, I did like uh, Sean Connery when he was playing the part. My so. wife was not a fan of Daniel Craig until she saw him in the first movie when he stepped out of the sea in his um, <laughs> in his little shorts, and then all of a sudden she became a big fan of his. I don't know why. Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> So again, as far as card blanks are concerned, I've just gone with stamping card and we're looking at eight and three quarter inches by four. Makes a nice background there to start doing some matting and layering. So again, I've gone with that same textured card stock. We're just going to mat and layer these nice and uh, flat on here. So the tape pens come there, comes in handy there. Thought I was running out again then. They always end up running out on me. They've had a bit I get through that, loads of these, honestly. Mm. Absolutely loads. So when they're on offer, I normally uh, get my order in and get stocked up on them. So again, 
pop that one on just as a, a matte layer at the, uh, the bottom there. And then this is actually from the Woodland Collection. And I'm just going to, you're not going to, I was just going to say, no, I was just going to say, I think, round the edges, but you're not actually going to see the edges of that underneath. So we'll leave that one plain. I am a fan of inking edges of cardstock, mm. I must admit. Oh, and uh, if you can tune in tomorrow, I'm back tomorrow. Oh, yes. And I've got some, uh, some inks inks on tomorrow that uh, I think are going to do well against is it, some is of it a my jam day again tomorrow? Um, you both? I'm not on first thing that I'm aware of, but I'm here at three o'clock and I'm here at seven o'clock tomorrow. A yes. Jan cartload tomorrow? Yes, two oh, weeks oh. in a row. Wow. Two weeks in a row, yeah. I still remember now, Jan, the cartload you and I did together. I know, what, that, that was a while ago, it, wasn't was it? was a while ago, but one of my favourite cartloads. Oh, we did, that. we had a good one, We had a good we? laugh, didn't Enjoyed we? Enjoyed it. Yeah. So you can see now that we've got this one out the ready, and I'm going to keep it flat this time, I think, rather than popping the foam on. The one that I did at home, I've actually got uh, raised up on foam but uh, let's just have a look at it flat and see how it looks that way and then what I've done is I've stamped out one of those little woodland creatures just to pop in the uh, the aperture this time Gilmore's just said Sean Connery and Daniel Craig are my favorite bonds followed by Pierce Brosnan what Gilmore oh, no I forgot about Mr oh he's got a really nice voice as well hasn't Ooh. he Pierce Brosnan Pierce Brosnan he's got the eyes, like Irish <laughs> Pierce Brosnan the name's Bond change band that's what he says he sounds like that but then every time i picture pierce brosnan now yeah. i see him as the character in one of my favorite films mamma mia mamma mia yeah in which he doesn't sing very well he doesn't sing very no. well no but good on him for uh, for having a go good on him that's all i can say yeah um jane wilson says sean connery for me every time yep mm. so i think it depends who you grew up with as your bond yeah i think it is a generation thing isn't it yeah mm. who was the first guy um, oh, uh, well, Sean Connery was the first to play no, him. Um, David Niven. Oh, David. Oh, Bob Holness played him on the radio. No, before that. Um, oh, wow. I can picture him, and I can't think of his name. David Niven. No, no. Who he, was he, he played him in uh, uh, Casino. No. Who? Barry no. Nelson. Uh, oh gosh, what was his name right oh. at the very beginning? I can picture the guy. Who's? I don't know. Going right back, have a look for me. How far? Sean Connery played the beginning. In, the very uh, Lazenby. George oh no, Lazenby. Lazenby wasn't the first one. Wasn't he? He was. Uh, he was the fifth film, and then Connery came back for one. Ah, mm, George right. Lazenby on A Majesty's Secret Service. So maybe that was me going back yeah. in time. Then yes. Connery yes. did the first four, then he stopped. Lazenby did one, and then I'm he gave it up, you. and Connery came back I'm for, for you, one yep. before then Roger Moore arrived. Um, so yeah. Then it was Dalton, it's then Brosnan. A few. There's more people than you think, isn't then there? Then Daniel Craig, That's yeah. Had a go, yeah. And who's going to be next is the question. Hmm. I know um, it was always an ambition of uh, Robbie Williams to play James Bond, the Bind Boggles, Rob as to whether that comes off or not. Robbie, Rob Williams. Robbie Williams. He's not an actor, but it's always been a, a goal of his to play James Bond. Mm. I think he's got the right look, but he's absolutely cracker. So. Yeah. To be honest, I mean, I, I, I'm not an actor. It's always been a goal of mine to play James Bond, but I don't mean it's going to happen, <laughs> is it? So you can see there, just this time, I've got some of the pattern paper showing through the bottom one, and then I've just coloured up one of those little uh, characters from that collection, and we're just going to pop him inside that central one there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of wet glue, and this is my tacky glue in that little uh, applicator there. And literally, just as if he sat with his little feet, over the edge of that aperture there. Do you know what? It's, it's great that you're putting these little characters in because Sandra said um, about 10 minutes ago, wouldn't it be cute to have little characters peeking out of the apertures? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And then I think we'll go for... Uh, I'm just having a look. Yeah, I've got some foam squares left just to pop the sentiment. I'm feeling brave. Uh -oh, we'll here we couple, go. We'll have a couple of foam squares just on the back there. I think I've just about got the hang of it now, guys. Look, I'm making it look easy. Oh, you now. have. Making it look easy now. <laughs> pad I've got, finger. I've had a few tips off our Craig, bless him. Yep. Foam there pad finger. Go. Okay. 
And then I'll bring you the one in that I did at home. I just added a little bit of um, bling just to enhance it a bit. But you can see I've added the ink to this one. This was just the plain craft card. So you can see how it's just darkened it a little bit there. And then I just added a little bit of bling to it. Uh, pretty much the same sort of uh, thing. But keeping it fairly simple. And then we're going to move on. We're going to do, um, I think, a box for the next one. We're going to pop it Fab. on top of a box for the next demo. The, honestly, you guys are loving this show. There's so much chat. There's so much love for the collection, so much love for Jan's demos as well. Um, just to chat about the subscription boxes, because we were talking about those. Karen Wells Sorrell, hi Karen, says, um, I've kept my whole collection of subscription boxes in their original boxes, and I have little space left uh, yet by moving stuff around. Uh, Hadass says, love to see these uh, craft boxes on sale like this because I get to grab them at a low price and share them with the volunteer groups at the nursing home and hospital cancer wing. That's a brilliant oh, way to be able idea, to use those. Is, yeah, mm. fantastic. Uh, and Pam says, yep, I was one of the first to take out the subscription when I launched here in the UK. Jan, I put my boxes into A4 plastic folders, cut off the top of the, cut off the front of the box lid and put inside so I can see what is inside. And then I have three folders in a total Tiffany container labelled with the box numbers. This way I can get 15 boxes in the same space as five. I mean, you've got well, it all that's sorted. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. That is crafty storage, isn't it? That certainly is. I like that. Good yes. work. Good work. I might work. have to go down that route because, as I say, I am serious. There's, there's, very, very, there's going to soon not be enough room for me to get in there. <laughs> And let's just face it, that's not going to work, is it? When it, I've gone home and cleared up all the snow, that is. If oh, you did, yeah. If you didn't hear about the snow and this morning. And found the spider. Pop and have a look at uh, Wake Up Call this morning. Yeah, we had a, a faux snow and a sneezing incident. Yeah. Yes, it's, uh, didn't new, go well at all. New book coming out soon for Christmas, Jan's Crafty Accidents. <laughs> um, just a couple of um, quick questions as well. So the Dizzy Crafter says, do you think the Peekaboo stamp and dies would work <gasps> with these? Oh, my goodness, they would be perfect. What a fantastic idea. Yeah, you could just have him peeking through the little holes, couldn't you? And you could even have them looking inside because with the Peekaboo, you get the front and back, don't you? Yeah. So you could have them looking from the outside so that when you opened it, opened the card, if you cut, oh, this is where my, my head goes, into there we go. Here we go. Slow down, Jam. Yeah, cut the aperture folder into the front of the card. So actually, pop this um, over the front of your card and cut the apertures into the card front. And you could have some characters peeking out and some characters peeking in, so that when you open the card, you could see them on the inside as well. Idea. I love that. Oh, I love it. Great yeah. idea. Um, and just a quick question from Gwen, um, who says, does anyone use rice papers? I'm having a heck of a time finding a glue to adhere to chipboard. Uh, the glue chunks show through the paper. Any suggestions? Right, if you have a look on our website under the Cosmic Shimmer section, there are several glue stroke glazers. Uh, they should be fine for the rice paper. There's one that's got a matte finish, there's one that's got a satin finish, and I think there's a gloss finish as well. So depending on what, uh, what sort of finish you're after on them, because that will actually... Uh, actually act as a, a glue underneath and then you can pop it over the top of it our producers just saying the matte finish one is in stock on the website and i just use a paintbrush and i usually paint it so that it's nice and smooth rather than having you know sometimes when you squeeze your glue out mm. you get like the tube sort of line of glue it wants to be flat so sometimes even wet your finger and smooth the glue out underneath pop your rice paper on and then very very gently you can go over the top of it as well and it will seal it as well i've used that on mixed media projects good stuff thank you Jan yep. there you go Gwen hopefully that helps any more questions fire them our way and we will uh, endeavour to answer those for you uh, just to quickly show you the boards again before we take a quick little break and give you the opportunity to check out your basket uh, it's brand new today uh, the slimline aperture cut and embossed folders the trio uh, but you're only paying for two uh, we're giving you three giving you the third one for free uh, they should be £45 just over $50 uh, everyone pays £29.98 or three $33.90 platinum. Wow, what a deal. £23.98 or $27.12. Those are your pretty polka dots. So that was the folder that um, Jan used just a few moments ago there to create uh, that last beautiful card. Uh, we've already seen the uh, the square chevrons as well. Um, those are also included. And then you've got your happy hearts too, uh, which you know in this instance is the one that you get for free. Uh, it's a fabulous bundle and we are heading towards 
well, over 35% of the stock. Uh, these are absolutely flying out of the door. I know there are lots of you with them in your baskets right now, so let's give you that uh, moment, that time to check out your baskets. We'll come back with some more demos. In the meantime, any more questions, get them in, but more importantly than that, check out your baskets, and we will be right back. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges, and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular six to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Hello, uh, <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome back to Crafter TV. We were just doing James Bond impressions. I was just doing James Bond impressions. Um, oh, that's what it was. Well, that was my Roger Moore. Jan, my Sorry. name is Bond. <laughs> Benny Bond. And this is Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> <laughs> the name's Bond. James Bond. You're not going to do him in Mamma Mia mode then? Oh, my happy days have gone, oh, all those happy days. Ding, ding, ding. Well, that's the song he sings, isn't I it? I think so, yeah. Oh, when you feel me, darling, feel <laughs> me, SOS. <laughs> the name's Bond, James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> I work on me, Brosnan. Um, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours in between, Johnny says. Yeah, we'll reconvene uh, a little bit later on. Um, just before, and then we're going to unbox the um, the embossing folder boxes. That's proving really popular um, on that Explorer deal, which we've just brought back. We've already touched on this, but let's answer it anyway, because I know people uh, jump in at different times. The folders, Jan, um, do they work in the MIDI? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, we did the last one, popped it through the MIDI uh, just to show you that. Um, but it works perfect. You just need your purple shim. Yeah. So you would need your folder with your cardstock in and then the purple shim just to make it to the right thickness to go through your midi but absolutely good yep. stuff um, keep the questions coming uh, so excited to finally see some slimline dyes and embossing folders says chemistry and biology uh, got to love the cut and emboss combo and sarah's creation says i love jan's explanations and demos she is awesome right let us move on to the explorer kit this is really exciting because we had this yesterday it was super popular on launch party and we said you know what let's bring this back for the people that didn't get to see it and actually it ties in really nicely kind of with the theme of this show because we're talking about the brand new um, slimline cut and emboss folders and one of the um, craft kits that you're going to get is your um, mixed and matched embossing folders which Jan's going to have a look at for us just now 
You're also going to get in this deal the Penny Sliders box, box number 35. It's a fantastic buy because the, you know these are normally £25 each, but today everyone pays just £30. So it's like one full price one, you're getting the second one for a fiver. If you're platinum, well, it's like you're getting both of them for a pound less than you would normally pay for one. So it's a phenomenal buy. Um, let's have a look at the um, mix and match embossing folders box, so Jan. And again, talk us through this for people who haven't seen these before. Yep, we're actually going to have a look through the contents in here. So uh, all the boxes come with the same layout. Like Ben said, this one's number 39. And you've always got some inspiration here that goes on on the front. And then absolutely packaged beautifully. So whether you're buying it for yourself or whether you're buying it for a gift, it really is something special because obviously we've taken ours out for uh, display purposes here but everything comes in the gorgeous let me just pull one out of the bottom there everything comes in its own little envelope so each section of the uh, the box has got its own little polka dot envelope there so i think you know as far as a gift's concerned it's a really nice little uh, collection so just to go through the main focus on this one then is the embossing folders and you're going to get three five Five by five folders so we've got the little polka dot one which comes in really handy you know when you've sort of made something you think oh, it just needs that little bit of something just embossing it with a polka dot and a little bit of uh, ink over it just makes a huge difference love the floral one let me just put this over uh over here so you can see a bit better there is that that's not really that much it's not that much better <laughs> is it Shall we try a bit of white card instead <laughs> All right, they're all laughing at me. Here we go, look, that looks better, Laughing at you, it? laughing at my no. impressions. There we go, you can see that lovely floral scroll on that one. And then we've also got the Rick Rack one, which again is quite a nice one. Great for uh, birthday cards, great for kiddies cards, things like that. And you can ink them up, you've seen us do the letterpress technique, so you can put your inks inside them and then emboss them. And then we've also given you a little cut and emboss folder to have a try as well. So this has actually got that embedded die inside it as well so you've got a lovely decorative edge and then you've got that piece that cuts the detail off the uh, the edge of it so I'm going to pop a couple of these through the machine to show you these in a second but I just want to go through the rest of the box so as always in there let me just pull these to one side and I'll come back to those you're always going to get your sets of cards and envelopes so we've got a six by six card with matching envelope you've got a five by seven and a six by four so they're all traditional sizes and they all come with the corresponding envelope so you've literally got something to get started with there you also get a selection of cardstock and papers so you can see here that we've got a lovely arrangement this one's one of my favorites this deep pink one and then you've got matching cardstock double-sided cardstock okay the papers are single-sided but you can see how that color palette's been thought through there to actually tone everything together so you've got that lovely pink goes nicely with this one you've got the greens you've got that lovely uh, it's almost like a salmon color there absolutely gorgeous nice color palette as well we're talking about autumn and fall you've got quite a few autumn com colors in that one so those come as well and then we've got um, a die cut piece which has got loads of different sentiments on. So these just literally pop out of the, uh, the carrier sheet. If you're wanting to colour them, top tip would be to colour them while they're still in situ because they are quite a fine script. And sometimes when you take them out, it makes them a bit more fragile. So if you're gonna colour them with your pens or anything, colour them while they're in here and then pop the pieces out okay and then we've got um embellishments of course to go with it so you get your ribbons in three different sizes in colors that match that uh, paper and cardstock you get the embellishment the self-adhesive gems there that match and then we've also popped a little stamp set in there because we always say you know with an embossing folder you don't need much more than that with a sentiment yeah. and you know maybe a little bit of ribbon on there to create a bow and your job's a good one you know you could literally make as much as you want out of here and then you know you probably still have paper and cardstock left over that you can transfer add your own card blanks to it so what I wanted to show you on this one seeing as we've got that focus on embossing is just a couple of these to show Show you how they work so the five by five folders are a two excuse me 2d folder 
All right, so they work in exactly the same manner as we've just been doing with those um, cut and emboss folders. So if you're using a Gemini, you would just need your two clear plates. And I'm going to use the MIDI again for this one to pop these through. So I've just cut a piece of cardstock, the right size to fit inside here. And this one's simply a case of passing through the machine. And we're going to add that shim because the, if you pop this one through on its own you can see how it will just literally there's no pressure involved there so this just builds up the depth to the right size for the pressure to be applied so again I just sit it on top normally line up the hinged part of the folder with the edge it can be in the middle if you want I just think it all goes through the machine together when you pop it on the edge if you prefer to have your shim on top it works exactly the same so however you prefer I do tend to sit them on top of here offer them into the machine and then literally you can see how easy yeah you know finger and a thumb absolutely straightforward and then you've got that lovely if i just see if we can tilt this a little bit just to give you uh, that detail is it picking it up on there oh there you go that's yeah. perfect yeah so again beautiful if you want a slightly deeper emboss you could probably get away because this is quite thin cardstock probably get away with popping another cardstock shim underneath here and then adding it to that uh, system that i've put if you were working with a 300 gsm cardstock i wouldn't try that but this is from one of the textured pads and it is a wee bit thinner so you could actually put a piece of cardstock cut to size just under here and it would add a little bit give you a deeper impression and then the other type of folder that's in there so we've given just to give you a you know a try is that cut and emboss folder which is similar to the ones that we're using on the show with our new launch but I'll just show you the design on this one again so again I've just popped a little piece of card to size we're going to trap it inside and the cut and emboss folders work in exactly the same way so again just pop it onto your shim if you're using the midi yeah if you're using your uh, gemini's again they go between the two clear cutting plates and through your gemini so again i'm just going to pass that one through our midi let it do its job okay and take that one out and we'll see what we've got there so let's just move the machine out of the way there and again, once we open up here, this one's actually created that lovely embossing. If I just tilt that again, you can see the embossing on there. And then because my card was just a little bit longer than the folder, I'm just going to snip away at each side here. Lovely. And that takes away that edge that it's cut. And just look how pretty that is. Yeah. Brilliant. You know, that would be really difficult to cut with either a knife or a pair of scissors, I think. And then you've got that lovely embossed detail in there at the same time. So just to give you a taster, so we did the chevrons. You've also got those polka dots and then you've got that lovely swirl in there as well. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Whether you're buying it for yourself or whether you're treating someone, you know, a friend or a, a crafty neighbour or something like that. Uh, fabulous stuff and, I, and again I love the fact today that you were able to pick up that craft kit with the penny slider craft kit as well uh, for an amazing price 24 pounds if you're platinum or 24 dollars so uh, a pound or a dollar less than you would normally pay uh, for one of these you are getting both uh, if you just want to go for the embossing folder collection uh, the mix and match embossing folder box you can do uh, that is available 20 pounds or 20 dollars but when you realize what the price is of both of them together even if even if you've got the penny sliders box it's worth getting it at that deal and then maybe uh, you know giving that to a friend keeping it as a christmas gift or you know maybe you do like a little craft class or something like that which yeah just use it for extra stash it's entirely up to you just worthwhile mentioning that also on the show if you want to kind of uh, add this into your crafty carts and baskets uh, we have got your heavyweight acetate uh, so again perfect for these kind of um, uh, cutting emboss folders as well if you want to uh, pop some acetate behind the little windows um, that's quite a nice little buy as well a5 and 25 sheets you're going to get in there today uh, for just six pounds 39 or seven dollars 96 so a, a nice little perfect partner to go with those and if it's cardstock you're after uh, really nice price on your 12 by 12 uh, textured cardstock um, in your pastels, 
So double-sided um, cardstock. It is two, yeah, two thirty GSM, um, and it's got that beautiful sort of um, textured finish to it in a nice sort of pastel effect. The colours on here as well, a bit more of a sort of a, a springtime, summertime feel to them. But if you do need to uh, stock up on your uh, cardstock, this is a nice way to be able to do it. Fifteen pounds ninety-nine or nineteen dollars ninety-six on that one uh, lots of lovely chat still coming through helen just saying um i have both of these boxes and the items inside are lovely uh, chat as well about the slimline apertures um alicia just saying the slimlines inspired me as mini photo collages yeah i mean seriously we touched on that today great idea perfect for that the square ones particularly um alicia also saying the papers in the um in the embossing for the box super pretty uh deborah says i've just ordered the new cut and emboss folders great purchase and i tell you what deborah you are not the only one um buying those because we are just shy of 40 percent of the stock gone on these they are flying out the door at a rate of knots brilliant they really really are super giving you a beautiful uh, deep emboss on these and then of course the three different apertures you'll get with each and every one to decide well whatever you want to do with these whether uh, you are like um helen I think it was Helen or was it Alicia? Uh, Alexia, who was saying, uh, going to use these to kind of little pop, pop little photos behind and make little photo colleges with. Whether you're going to get out your little peekaboo characters uh, and use those e in conjunction with these. Whether you are going to use these uh, to uh, pop some sequins behind and make a shaker cut out of. There's so many different uh, ways that you can use these. Love the fact as well, particularly with the square and the circles that you're going to get. So your square chevrons, whether you want to go portrait, whether you want to go landscape. Again, you using up um, items from the uh, watercolour Christmas collection you can build up some beautiful scenes with these as well you know what if you wanted to just have three different sentiments in here you've got the ability to do that you know say the um, different messages in each of the different windows and then you've got your circles there uh, as well which are your pretty polka dots and I've showed it all day long it is me fave I think that card is super it's a really really clever idea and the fact that you get you know once you've cut the apertures you'll then obviously have the um, the negative there so you'll have three circles in this instance to do what you want with whether you want to uh, incorporate them into the project that you're using or save them for another one it's a really great system and it's i just love the price on this today as well we could very well have said it's launch day full price for you 45 pounds 50 dollars which in my mind would be a great buy and would be sensible because it's the first time you've seen them. But no, we love you so much. We go launch day, ab two, we'll give you the third one for free and you can still have your um, club inspired discount. So five, 10, 15, 20% off if you're platinum, 23 pounds, $27. Really, really great buy today. These are super usable. As I said, they're for everybody. If you're an experienced crafter, you'll know how great cutting and emboss folders are and you'll have a zillion ideas for these already. If you're fairly new, I know we've got new people watching all the time, like Jan saying, these are a great starter set because there's just so many different things that you can do and they're super easy to use. We're gonna go back to Jan and have another look at these in action. Um, what are you gonna be using next, Jan? We're gonna go back to those hearts. Okay. So I did this on Wake Up Call. Uh, well, I'm saying I did this. I used the uh, heart embossing folder on Wake Up Call this morning and we made uh, this one this morning so we went with the pink and we popped some little shaker elements in the center there so we're going to go back to this one but we're going to go a different colorway and I'm going to pop it on top of a box this time so you know they don't have to be card projects I've actually made my box lid at the ready yeah and you can see that we've got sort of plenty of room to actually pop this as a box topper as well so let's have a little look then I'll leave that I'm going to make a separate topper so I'm not going to actually cut it into the top of the box but you could you could actually cut that and then pop some acetate behind it which would give you a little sneak peek of what was inside your box but this time we're actually going to pop a piece of white card in and we're going to color it again with the uh, with the inks so again just to pop that inside and again whether you're going through the Gemini it goes between the two clear plates or if you're going to use the midi you just need your plastic shim mm -hmm. with the cardstock and the folder sat on top all right so whichever way around i'll keep flitting between the two so that you can see it in action so we'll go back to the actual gemini machine this time and again i'm just going to pass that through it's going to apply just the right pressure to emboss that detail into the cardstock but also cut out the apertures as well so if we pop those to one side Okay, and then we've got 
that nice little cut out there which has done beautifully okay so you can see that design if we pop that onto there you can see and if I just tilt it it is white but you can just see that embossed detail popping out of there and then you also get the pieces that come out of the apertures that you may or may not want to use you know with your design but I would certainly be keeping these in a little pot if you don't use them with the design they're a great sort of little uh, die cut piece to just stamp a sentiment on even if you were making an ordinary card without this and just pop your sentiment on there on the corner so I'd be keeping these as a, a little stash going on so I was gonna use I'm just gonna bring my box in again um, now then shall we have the pink or shall we go that's a nice box you got there do you like my box I like that yeah do you that's like quite... those lovely purple handles yeah on my box? yeah I do that's quite snazzy that watch this space whoa that's all I'm going to say that's all I'm going to say <laughs> just watch this space love it so I think Thing. We, did, we did pink this morning. I might go with the green. Okay. Uh, the two complementary colours there, but I think we'll go with the green this time just to show a different shade. So, again, water reactive ink, your opaque inks would work. So, I'm just going to load up my sponge applicator there. And then, because it's the stamping card, this is going to take that ink beautifully there so again just to bring in whatever color you wish you know you can actually uh, mix your colors if you wanted to do more than one color we're going to do that in a little while so literally pop all this and then just take the color all the way down so it's turned it from a piece of white if you wish to color your cardstock first you can actually do that and then just highlight gently the embossed detail you'll get a different look mm. so again i'm just going for actually doing the whole thing there okay so we'll pop those to one side we'll just have a little clear up there so i've just got water in my uh, my mister there and just get rid of all the green ink so that we don't transfer it onto everything okay and then what we're going to do next is we're going to back that um again with some cardstock there so you can see that lovely, lovely green yeah. showing through there and then i'm just going to create a, a shaker element in the middle again there okay so we need our foam back again ben oh yeah it's coming in handy it's getting its uses today isn't it what 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 what's, what, what what's, get, it what's getting its uses what's getting its uses yeah that foam on a roll 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 hey yeah. absolutely every opportunity <laughs> come on so let's again, take it a few times today we? testing myself to the brink today aren't i with this i must be uh <laughs> yep so i'm again. loving it because i get to i get to sing every time you use it <laughs> Um, so yeah all the way around the edge and then because we just want to pop the um, shaker pieces in the middle I'm going to mask off that area in between as well so making sure that I go all the way hmm. from one side to the other to block the gap because I don't want them escaping and falling out of the aperture that's higher up so again push it right up to the piece on the side and make sure that you've got that gap sealed there in the middle so you can see we've isolated this area now okay so i've actually got uh, a piece of acetate and that's going to go oh that's going to go yes yeah, you should have put that on first shouldn't i silly girl ah oh ah right okay plan yeah i've got a don't worry i'm on it all right, I'm just going to ink up this piece and we'll trap the acetate in between. So don't fail. Yep. Okay, so we'll just pop. I'm going to go really quickly. And then we'll trap. Because I should have put the acetate on before the foam, silly girl. Okay. Getting giddy again. So if I just put the ink on this piece as well, which is one that I'd passed through the folder in advance. Again, get rid of that green off them out there okay and then what i will do is pop the acetate on here and then trap it yes uh, oh save clever save save right. the so, day say, yeah Whew, that was close wasn't it so i think the easiest way to do that is going to be with some of my 
red line tape. Whilst you're sticking it up, I'll just yeah. catch up on the comments because there's loads coming through. Um, chemistry and Biology says, I spritz with a little water before running an embossing folder through a machine to yeah. give it a deeper emboss. It does, Works absolutely. Perfectly. Yeah, just to be, for, to be damp rather than wet. Yes. Uh, and what happens is it's almost like the card... When it dries, it dries quite firm and it sort of remembers that embossed detail better. Mm. It is, that is a really good point, actually. Oh, no. What? Oh, no, look. Oh, What's going on now? It's oh. all happening today. I'll keep, I'll keep reading. Keep talking. I'll keep talking. Oh, um, Donna says, hi from San Antonio, Texas. I love Jan's teaching methods. Her calmness makes us believe we can do it. Her calmness, she says, running out of tape and doing it wrong. Yes, uh, But you. we'll gloss over that. Thank you. I'm uh, glad you've got belief in jo me. Joy says, Ben, oh, here we go. I think you would make a dashing James Bond. Sean, Sean Connery always injected the humour beautifully and you would be smashing. I'll bet you can act given how you entertain us so brilliantly. Oh, let me tell you about my acting days. I won't, I'll bore you. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, I will. Oh, goodness me. Um, Walked uh, right into that one, didn't we? Eleanor says, I really like the slim line cards. They're so different and the apertures give some room for all different ideas. Um, and Helen Montgomery uh, says on Facebook, my co-workers think I'm crazy. I'm smiling and laughing and they don't know why. <laughs> the show is minimised, but I'm listening through the earbud. So fun. Love to keep them guessing. Oh, bless. I That's love brilliant. The fact. How small are we, Helen? Like Just in the tiny, like in the corner of the screen, are we on your phone or what? How small? Um, let us know. That's hilarious. You're not supposed to be watching at work. Oh, dear. Oh. Were you singing along to Foam on a Roll, Helen? That's what I want to know. Foam on a Roll. That would be hilarious, Foam on a it? Roll. Hey. <laughs> you just imagine while you were sat at work. Yeah. They think I, you'd lost the plot, wouldn't they? Uh, absolutely right. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Especially if you'd be like a call centre or something like yeah. that. And all of a sudden, you stand up out of your cubicle. Fire out of roll! <laughs> and, and sit back down again. <laughs> oh, dear. That's brilliant. <laughs> right. I am just rectifying my own mistake here. So just bear with me. What I've done is I've stuck the acetate over the top of the one that I've done. I'm going to trim it down to size. And then fortunately... I have another piece that I'd done earlier that we can put over the top and rescue it. Yeah, so I'm just going to pop some, uh, some tape around the edge of there as well. So, a bit more bond, please, Ben. Oh, you want me to do some more bond? Yeah. Which bond do you want me to do? I quite like Mr Brosnan. I'm liking the... Oh, yeah. The name's Bond. <laughs> James Bond. And in, in what, which is the one when he does the um, it's tomorrow never dies, isn't it? And he and he throws the henchman into like the the, the machine that's making the newspapers. <laughs> They'll print anything these days. <laughs> Piers Brosnan. That's how he sounds. That's a great impression. That is a really good impression. I Thank, must you, Dan. Thank, Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thank right. you. <laughs> so again, I'm just popping some tape. Oh yes, Jan, I've made this great hard job. work. I really have. This is a case of do as I say, not as I do on this one. My yes. goodness, I really have made hard work, and that's all because I should have had the acetate on before I put my. Uh, yes, I could have told you that. Foam on a roll. Oh yes. On. Foam on a roll. So yes, we're going to put this one over the top and yes. try and save the day. Oh yes, the name's Brown, Jan Brown. Yeah, Jan Brown. Always shaving the, the day. Licensed to craft. Oh, yes. Yes, Miss Money Bunny. Oh, yes. He's gone. <laughs> I've lost him. Lost him to the bonds. Right, so that was Connery, one, not Dracula. <laughs> there we go. Look, nobody would be any the wiser. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Hey, save so the day. It only took a couple of minutes, but we've saved it. We've actually got the acetate in there now, so we can carry on. Goodness me. There's always a way around things if you think about it. And I was lucky that I just happened to have that other ready. So, yes, we're actually going to make a shaker element in the second one. Yes. So, I've got my little uh, silver shaker pieces again. Ooh. Just take the top off there. And again, I like to pop these well, in sequins. the middle. These are just a sequin mix, yeah, yeah. little silver uh, sequins. And again, pop them in the middle there. And then we're going to take, oh, we've got the tape to come off now, haven't we? Talk oh, about, yes. Talk about make it hard. It has been behaving today, I must admit. So we're, we're not too bad. You've got I the think, old... Uh, I think I've got the tweezers on the Oh, I've got the, the tweezers job. this yeah, time. Yeah, they're, they're worth the weight in gold. I do use them a lot, I must admit. So again, just nice and gentle. I tend to be a, get a bit giddy and just rip it off and it tears halfway yeah. down. Yeah. 
I always find when I've done the little craft alongs with you, Jan, the um, red liner tape I always find a bit difficult. The to get red the liner off. tape, the secret with that is it's pressure sensitive. Oh, uh, okay. So if you give it a really good sort of burnish along the top while the red line's still in place, and then use something with a point, so I tend to use my pokey tool, you should be able to lift that red line off quite uh, quite simple. Yeah. But yeah, just give, use your, even if you need your burnishing tool, and get all the air bubbles out, you'll see the red line, the red line a bit change colour it'll go from being quite pale to being quite dark red oh, okay yep so try that next time we'll so do. again pop all the little shaker pieces in there and then we're just going to line that up and pop that one and trap them in that middle section so it's a good job we uh, we managed to rescue that one there yep brilliant so again just spread them out there and we've got that lovely little shaker just contained to that middle one if you want them all to be shakers now because i'd sectioned this off i could have put a different color in the top and bottom or you could use little seed beads in there you could use little cutouts from a die so if you've got little stars or anything like that anything to make that shaker piece and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the top of the box there so i think for that one because we're actually constructing i'm going to jump to my uh, all purpose glue there because we're going cardstock to cardstock and I'm going to get a nice finish on that and I know that the all-purpose dries really sort of strong and solid so just to pop that on the back and then we can pop that box together I've already popped the base together but again just to give you an idea there okay And then all it is, like this, Ben, if you just make sure that it's actually well burnished on the top. Yeah. And then literally, once you slide this underneath, you should be able to take it off quite easy. So when I'm actually getting these ready, I always make sure that I've just gone over it, either with your finger or with the, uh, the burnishing tool. And it should just come straight apart there. Fab, yeah. So again, just Good to pop tip. those corners together. So we've got our box there okay and then i was unsure between the pink and the green earlier but i actually made the sentiment in the pink which i think pinks and greens look really nice together anyway so again we're just going to go with that oh, yeah, it does on nice. the top there and again i'm just going to go with a couple of those little um foam pads there we okay. are almost at 50 percent of the stock gone on this collection uh oh says producer johnny oh. uh oh indeed uh, I've got a funny old feeling if you're thinking, oh, I'll wait till second chance Sunday. You might not get the chance. If no. these keep going at this rate, they won't be here on Sunday. So um, grab them whilst you can. I, I can't see as there's a reason to wait because it's not as if, you know, you, you, you're thinking, oh, shall I get these? Shall I, shall I not get these? Because do I need these? You, a, you need them. And if you were thinking to yourself, well, mm, price wise, they're at a great price. I think uh, just the deal of the day, you've got to grab them. And especially when you can do things like this. So there you go. So rather than it being on that slimline card, we've just gone, I've just gone for an inch deep with the cardstock and maybe a little ribbon here just to echo the, um, the sentiment yeah. there. But yeah, just a different way, you know, it's sort of the same concept as, as doing a card, but just by adding the box underneath it rather than your card blanks. If I pop you that one round that way, just in the pinks and greens there, which are nice complementary colours there. I think that's okay. my favourite one of the show. You like that one I so really far. like it. Yep. I, I really love the colour combo as well. Yeah, it's nice, mm. isn't it? Nice and fresh. Mm. Yep. So um, we've gone from autumn to spring there, it, haven't we? Exactly. Easy, uh, co easy jump. Covering all of the seasons here, <laughs> aren't we? We really are. Um, Mary Beth Doyle just saying, I love to watch Jan's demos, especially mixed media. I always learn something. I think it's great uh, that we have different craft experts. We get to see so many different ways of doing things. Yes, and that's the great thing about this channel, isn't it, you see? Because we showcase all of these amazing products and you get to see Jan's take, you get to see Craig's take, you get to see Debbie's take, and then by the end of it, you've got so many different ideas because the guys all work in different ways uh, that, that you are um, you know, really, really going for it when you get these um, products. I'm addicted to embossing folders, says Chemistry in biology i just can't stop purchasing them well you absolutely need um, to purchase this collection as well i'll run through the boards again in just a few moments time thank you for all the comments coming in by the way uh, the dizzy crafter on youtube says ben i think you sound like george formby <laughs> wasn't he the guy that played the uh, <laughs> now i go window cleaning <laughs> when i'm cleaning windows it's an interesting job <laughs> uh, nettie new says ben you sound like colombo oh. <laughs> Just one more thing. Oh, there's no end to this talent, is there? 
Oh, uh, and Christy Mahoney says on Facebook, Ben, please stay in character. Which one? <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yes, well, maybe I'll, I'll, we'll get ready for the break, and I'll say, uh, you've got two minutes to check out your baskets. Do you expect me to talk? Why no, Mr. Bond? I expect you to check out. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up. I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV. Create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Uh, loads of you again checking out your carts, checking out your baskets. This is a biz, biz, busy show. If you are dilly dallying, do not dilly and dally. Uh, grab these before they disappear. Uh, don't wait till Second Chance Sunday because I cannot guarantee that you'll be able to get them then. Uh, Joy Sampson on YouTube. Hi, Joy. I uh, just says, Jan, you are giving us so many great tips. Thank you. Always, when Jan's in the house, when the, uh, the headmistress of craft is here, you can guarantee to pick up some amazing, amazing ideas. And Gwen just saying, with that last demo, beautiful cart, Jan. Uh, you've given me so many simple ideas for my seniors class. Um, I think that they can handle those techniques. And isn't that nice to hear as well, that techniques for everybody? Absolutely. Mm. I think that's the beauty of this range. You know, it's not a difficult concept, but you get a nice wow factor with your finished projects. And that's my kind of crafting. You know, you don't want to be spending hours and hours and hours doing something. These are nice and quick, but you're getting that really nice sort of wow image when you're finished. And as I say, so, so many different ways to actually decorate them. Yeah. <laughs> you right there, John? Sorry. John just, he was just he was, he's behind you, Jan. He's behind me. Oh, yeah. no, he, oh he is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he just done it again. <laughs> <laughs> dear oh dear he's you know we're talking about secret agents right he's on a special mission like a hush hush top secret mission like yesterday can't show you what he's doing look you see <laughs> look he's, he's do, look shh all will be revealed oh <laughs> Johnny's just gone oh and he's looking rugged Ooh. Cool. Oh, I'll tell you what, um, he's doing a hush hush secret mission just, just over Jan's shoulder all will be revealed 
next week. It is. You'd be surprised. You know, you're such a studier, doing my thing, yeah. you know, just crafting away. Mm. And he's, he's busy beavering away, literally, just behind me, honestly. Quiet yeah. as a mouse. Well, sort of quiet as a mouse. He's sweeping earlier on, left a lot to be desired. <laughs> Never heard anyone sweep so loud. Did, you must have heard that. Seriously. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, the Slimline Amateur Cutting and Bothell Trio, um, we are at, are we, are we at half the stock now? I think we are, aren't we? 50% wow. of the stock has gone, flying out the door. Um, it's uh, brand new today, launch day, and uh, rather than charging your full price, we are saying you can have all three of these, but you're only going to pay for two. Super simple to use, uh, kind of bang on trend as well, because you know we're chatting about those slim line cards. These are perfect for that, and particularly with the circles and the squares, whether you want to go portrait or landscape, these are going to look great. You've got your pretty polka dots um, beautifully embossed, and then those three apertures there, whether you want to kind of um, stamp in uh, your um, messages, whether you, whether you want to stamp in <laughs> Your, uh, your characters, whether you want to pop little, uh, you know, your cute little peekaboo characters behind these, whether you want to um, fill these with uh, lots of different items to make your shaker cards, whether you want to pop pictures behind these as well and use them on your scrapbooking pages. There are so many ideas and whilst Jan has already brought you some super ideas, you guys as well in the comments are um, already thinking out of the box here, coming up with lots of ideas for yourself. And that delights me because as much as it's great to know that we've you know, got the talented guys here to set you on the right path, it's always amazing to, to hear you guys go, well, I've already bought these or I'm going to get these because I've thought about doing this or I've thought about doing that. We're obviously here to start that process going, but the more ideas that you can come up with yourself, then once you've got these, you can then send us your ideas. You can send us the pictures of what you've done because um, that is what it's all about here at uh, Crafters TV. We have got, unbelievably, only half an hour left, and I know, I think Jan wants to squeeze in at least one, possibly two more demos, so let's get back over to the yeah. uh, creative side of the studio. Two people being very creative over there. You can only see one, though, so let's see what Jan's got up her sleeve. I just want to show this one as well, because this has just got thread uh, behind it, silver thread, and I just think that's a really nice idea. It's been used, you know, sort of lots of uh, coloured ink on there to make the apertures, but just threaded behind it, mm. you've got a really fine silver thread, and that coat my eye has been something I like something different so yeah Michelle did this one so well done love that idea absolutely Jan could you as well before you go into a demo just uh, Monica's asking what are the size of the folders the folders absolutely yes yeah. so we're looking at three and three quarter inches across the width of the folder mm -hmm. by eight and a half inches in height so I've been making my card blanks four inches by eight and three quarters so that I've just got that little bit of a board around it to work with so right. uh, yeah nice size for making those DL sort of long slim line cards so this time we're going to use the circle one but we're going to use a piece of um, pattern paper this time as well so it doesn't have to be cardstock you know you can cut into your papers you can make your own backgrounds but I'm simply going to pop this one inside and we're actually going to cut the apertures out of here and emboss that cardstock at the same time and I said I was going to flick between them so we'll go back to the midi for those of you that are using the midi and again I'm just going to take my plastic shim I'm going to flip it over just for that housekeeping so that I'm using both sides of it and again pass that through and you know they're, they're going through here effort, effort I, can, I can't say that word effortlessly there yeah. we go I have to slow down a bit but yeah literally no sort of extra strength needed just pass through and that actually applies the right sort of pressure there to look, look to how simple Ooh, that is yeah yeah, so mm -hmm. we're going to use all the pieces this time. We're actually going to put these pieces back in. So before I do that, I'm going to take the middle one here and we're going to stamp on that piece just to pop a little sentiment in. And I've actually just picked one out of um, that I use regularly. Um, this is actually from our Nature's Garden Lily collection. It's not on the show. It's just one that I've grabbed out of my stash, but it's got some really nice uh, sentiments on there. It's one that I sort of, it's a go-to one. And this is just going to fit nicely in there so again I'm just going to use the little stamping platform for this one a little bit of black ink and I want to stamp that sentiment to go inside and we're going to pop that back in the middle so again just to line that up on there pop it down and then we've got our sentiment at the ready 
to go back in. Okay, Perfect. so nice and simple mm -hmm. there. So we've literally got these. We know that they've come out of the gap. So I'm going to pop this one onto some rose gold oh, that's mirror lovely. card. Mm. Just that's yeah, great. absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And yeah. this is from the um, the 12 by 12 glitter pads that have the mirror card in with it as well. The rose gold one is beautiful and it just sort of picked it, just lent itself nicely with that one. So this time I'm going to put the background piece flat. So we're just going to use the tape pen on here to put the background. And then we're going to raise the little um, pieces to put back in on a foam pad rather than doing it the other way around this time. So again, just to try and show you some different ideas. So again, pop that one. And then we're going to line this up so that the, um, the rose gold border is on there. Okay. And pop that one down. And then I've got another piece there that we're going to mat and layer that one on too. So that's going to go on straight onto there. And again, you know, you can lift any of these layers up with your foam. Yeah. Uh, depends, you know. I always think with, with dimension on cards, it depends where your card's going. If you're posting a card, these days I think it's better to keep it as flat as possible because the postal charges you know, climb the minute you've got any kind of uh, decent sort of depth or weight yes. to your parcels. If it's a hand-delivered card, then yeah, you could go for it. You can make a box to put it in and you can gift it as a, you know, a hand-delivered item. So what we're going to do now then is we're going to lift these up. Now then, I did, did I have some circles from a previous um, one left? Let me just have a little look. Yes, I did. So it doesn't matter that they're craft card because what I'm going to do just to make these a little bit stronger is actually back them and again this is why I said keep all those elements that you cut out of the centers because you've got a perfect match there but because that's only card stock and I'm going to raise it up on foam pads it's just making it a little bit more substantial than just the paper if you'd cut the whole thing out of card these would be fine on foam pads and, and raising them but that's actually giving them a bit more substance so that I can do that with them so again just pop in a little bit of glue and backing them onto those circles just to give me something to work with there okay so we've got that one at the ready and then the rest of my card here I've got another panel that's going to go in the bottom there so we'll stick that one and we're going to make an easel card with this one so again just pop some glue on there. This one's going to sit inside the base there. So again, we'll just get that one lined up with a nice little border. And I'm going to go horizontal with this one. Uh -huh. And then we've got our fold in there, which I'll just burnish that in so that we get a nice stand on it there. And then this front piece is going to stick. Oh, I thought we're nearly at the end again. <laughs> Do you know? Oh, no, nope, no, gone. Working. We'll go with the. Do you need to fetch you another one? I'll get another one between shows. You're right. Okay, yeah, thank you. We'll make you. do. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop this one to make the easel card. So I'm just going to line that up with that bottom edge there and secure that one in place. Do you know, more than anything in this show, I mean, all your demos have been great, but I followed, I, mean, I don't know whether I'm understanding craft better. A year down the line or what but I just I've just um, I've just followed these so well and I, I just love the simplicity of them but they they don't they, none of them look simple this is it as I say that they, they make some nice showstopper cards mm. but when you break it down into what's involved it is really straightforward so you know as I say ideal for those of you that are just starting your crafting journey you get some really nice wow results yes but you know you can see that uh, it's it's not taking that much to get there and again a collection because you've got you you've got I mean maybe not so much with the hearts but certainly with the squares and the circles they're going to lend themselves to lots of different styles of cards year round. You're not stuck with, oh, well, this is just a Christmas collection or this is just a nope. Valentine's no, collection. No, they're quite whatever. versatile in they that. They really respect. are. You know, trim it up with all your Christmas papers and your mm. Christmas characters, or alternatively, you know, trim it up with the, um, you know, like I said, there's the woodland creatures, there's the, um, if any of you going back a little bit further, what about the, um, the Enchanted Forest one with all the fairies and everything oh, in? Oh, yeah. You know, that was one of my favourite signature collections there. So, you know, 
you could do something like that. What about those of you that bought into um, Crafty Fun? You know, you could actually, if, you, if, you, if you're actually sending it to a crafter, you know, you've got in there, you've got all the artist palettes and the paintbrushes and things like that. You know, the, there's the nautical collection, like those little... Um, seahorse that we looked yes. at the portholes earlier. The start, yeah. So what I'm going to do now, and I'm just going to offset them slightly so that they're not quite back in the, um, the same place kind of thing. We're just going to come so that there's a little bit of that uh, rose gold show in there. Okay. So you can see how we're getting there. And then I've just got a little embellishment that we're going to pop down on one side, I think, there. So I've got a couple of leaves. And we're going to pop one. We're just working back to front there. So we'll put one down there. I've got another one to go to the other side. And then we've got the little flower to go in the middle there. And I'm going to put one last foam pad on there. And then we've got that nice design. So we've not only gone horizontal with that one, we've actually got sort of a... Yeah. an easel style with it as well which you know really simple it's the same method for the top we've just asked i added the easel card behind it so uh, again you can see there fab absolutely and also different the the, the make so far yeah. all very very different again showing you the versatility of your um collection um Quick question, which has just come in as well. I know we're going to have a look at some, we'll have a look at the boards here and some more samples with Jan. Sarah's Creations has just said, Jan, how could you do an edgeable on a slimline? An edgeable on a slimline? Mm. Um, Is that doable? Do you mean in addition to the folders or just on a slimline card? It's a good, it doesn't specify. I would imagine probably is it just on a slim line. Do you want to do you want to come back to us, Sarah, and let us know exactly what you mean, and yeah. then maybe we'll, yeah. An edgeable. On How would you do an edgeable line. on a slim line? That's what yeah, because it depends where you know where whether you folds at the side or whether you folds at the top, because obviously the edgeables are intended to cut out and pop up, mm. or you could cut it away from the edge of the card. If you're doing it in conjunction with these, then you would be into making a wider card to fit the edgeable down one side. Right. Uh, otherwise, it's going to cut into. The Just well, let us know a little bit more detail there. I'll show you the deal again and show you the boards and then we'll go back. One more um, demo to get in and then it will. Because it's flown. For the stock of the. All three of these. Versatility is the key, and, and as I said to Jan, just ready made today, all very, very different. I mean, one was a box, so much scope with these as well. The um, on the socials, the fact that you've got so much, um, and you know, if you are new to craft. Yeah, simply a case of one pass wonders, really. If you then would just want to ink these up, or three, it's entirely up to you. Very quickly, maybe with a little bit of ribbon or an added embellishment, uh, you've got yourself a super looking card. But then the scope with these as well to do even more is absolutely huge. Again, let's just talk about this for a second. Launch day should be full price. What are we doing? I don't know. What are we doing though, Johnny? What are we doing? It's the first day. Everyone should pay full price. But no, you can have all three for the price of two. £23.98 or $27.12 if you're platinum. Um, Wherever you are on your journey, you're saving uh, that, uh, that uh, 15 pounds or 17 dollars, and then wherever you are in Club Inspire, 5, 10, 15, 20 percent off. It's a great, great day to shop for these. Um, let's have a look at some more cards with Jan then before we go on for the um, the final demo, just to kind of put into your mind uh, a few more ideas that you might be thinking about. So there we go. Later on uh, in Creative Cravings, we've got that beautiful uh, watercolour Christmas collection coming up. So again, the little characters that you can stamp out there, you can just see those peeping through those apertures. Absolutely perfect. You know, wherever you want to take it. Love this oh, one. That's so this has cute. got the glitter card behind it. Yeah. And then we've actually got little uh, die cut elements that we've added some colour behind um, with your alcohol markers. So yeah, really, really pretty. I love that one. 
Again, you know, taking it to that different level, we've gone horizontal and made the easel card there. So again, that's the watercolour Christmas collection. These will work with pretty much any collection you've got in your stash. Is that the vellum um, in the windows there? The one that was actually the vellum, yeah. yes, in the background. In the, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, you just see. So it's got that, that, that sort of lovely uh, translucency going on like there. frosted windows. Absolutely, mm. yeah. And then again, adding colour, which is what we're going to do on our last one. We're going to go work with some uh, inks and, uh, and add some colour to the card. And then again, I love this one, you know. That little uh, staycation stamp set there yeah. with the uh, the tents and everything going camping. And again, just a little bit of acetate behind the windows there. Really, really nice. And it's even the tent design. I just think it's perfect, that one. Yeah. It just stands on its own there. But yeah, it looks like a little tent look. Yeah. Fantastic. Some really good ideas. The you can always tell when the design team likes something because we get fabulous sample not that they're not always fabulous anyway but just some really different ideas for you that's such a good point actually you know we, we always get a load of great samples but even more so with this particular collection so you know that our team have enjoyed working with it as much as you're going to enjoy working with it as well and let me know in the comments too before we um, disappear or just over 15 minutes time uh, let us know if you bought it also let me know which one of the folders you're going to be working with first and also let me know if you've thought of any other ideas that we've not talked about that we've not covered yet because um, you know it will inspire us and then of course inspire everybody else as well so we've got about 18 minutes left within that time as I say we're going to get you to vote for your favorite project which is going to be a toughie because there's been some crackers in this show um, and Jan is going to squeeze in one final demonstration this is going to be yeah. a piece de resistance I have a feeling <laughs> we're going to make a little plaque with it this time oh, you know cool. so it doesn't always have to be a card you know you might want to do a little wall hanging that would be great with photos in wouldn't it to have as a, a piece of home decor mm. so I'm going to start off with the white card again and I've just chosen two really strong colors this time so we've got crushed velvet and parakeet from the uh, water reactive inks and I'm literally just going to ink up now you can either do this by taking your sponge applicator to the card or alternatively you can pop your ink on the mat and pick it up that way so whichever you prefer to do but I literally just want to get some color down okay I'm not too worried what it looks like because we're going to die cut into it so again I'm just going to take Take the applicator and just pop some ink. I'm going to try not to get too inky on the last demo. <laughs> I, I'm always, I'd, I'd, I'd been messing the other day and I come out and my fingers were blue. And then I had to nip to the shop. Oh or no. And honestly, when I, when I passed my car, I thought she must wonder what on earth I've been doing. <laughs> Proper blue fingers, yeah. And you've got another show to do later on as well. So you got, you know, it's not as if you can go home now, is it? So. <laughs> So again, I'm going to swap to the purple and we're going to do the same and fill in the gaps there with the purple. All right, so this is just typical blending. Um, you've seen us do this so many times. So again, just to colour that cardstock. Yeah. You know, if you're not into this or you don't have the inks, then you can use a piece of cardstock that's already got, you know, the colours on. This is nice um, to make your own backgrounds though, isn't it? It is, yeah. And we talk about making backgrounds and keeping them for things. You know, this is a perfect uh, reason to be using all those mm. backgrounds. So again, once I've done the second colour, I like to go back to the first one and just sort of join where those gaps are. But as I say, we're going to die cut this anyway, so uh, you can see there. And then we're going to do the old um, splatter technique on it because it's the water reactive inks. We're going to get a paintbrush okay. and some water and just wherever we want to go, just to give it a little bit of interest before we pop it through the folder there. love how this materializes before it our very does. eyes the longer you leave it yeah. the better effect you will get so obviously we don't have masses of time when we're in the studio here but the longer you leave the water the better it will actually react with the um the, the ink but you can see let me just clear that uh, off the mat you can see where it's pushing the ink away already and then you know if you want to give it a little blot it will lift that ink back out again and it's a really nice one just to add a bit more definition to your card if I bring that up a bit closer now you can just see it almost looks like a, uh, a galaxy it does actually it? Galaxy far, a really far away. nice nice uh, night sky one yeah 
or even underwater they're saying in my ear fantastic would look great wouldn't it yeah so i'm literally going to skip a level because you've seen in fact have we, we've got time to do another cut haven't we we've got time i was just going to move to the one that i'd prepared but we'll go with this one so again we're going to go back to those squares with the chevrons i don't know which one of these i like best you know mm. it's like it's a tough one if i it had is. to choose a favorite i think i'd be struggling with these so what's your favorite in the gallery Circles for Adam. Circles for Circles Adam. Circles yeah. for um, Johnny. I think I like the squares best. I like the chevrons on the squares, I must admit. What did you say? They're teasing me. It's the, it's the two oh, lads. I can hear this in, in my it's ear. the two lads in the gallery. Lads, 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 lads. I, <laughs> I said I like the squares, and they said. I can't remember which one it was. I'm sure it wasn't Johnny because he's my, you know, my good mate. I, 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 I think it was Adam went, us because you're square. <laughs> but he's only joking, but you know. All I heard was the eruption of laughter. Yeah, me too. Ha ha ha, I'm really funny. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll set you up, Adam. You knock him down. <laughs> so you can okay. see because my ink was still a little bit wet, we've got a terrific uh, pattern going on where it's transferred in there. <laughs> But again, it should just clean up with the, uh, it'll actually, and it'll, once it's dry, it won't transfer to the rest of your, uh, your, your card stock. Right, so where are we going with that one? We're actually going to go onto black card this time. Yeah. So you can see I've got this one at the ready. What I'm going to do is swip, swap to the one that I did earlier because it's a wee bit lighter. I've got a bit heavy. So, well, I'm saying a wee bit lighter. It's a lot lighter, it isn't is. it? So again, depending on how heavy you are with the, uh, the ink, my ink pads are very, very juicy as to whether you go with the dark or the light. I'm going to go with the lighter one because I've already stamped up the sentiment to go with it. So again, because we're just working with the, uh, the card stocks, we're going to go with a plain white layer. I'm going to take the all-purpose for this one because we're keeping it all flat. And then we're going to mat with the black. Patricia likes the squares best as well. Yeah. Well done, Patricia. Join Team Square. Team Square. As I say, I'd be struggling, I think, to actually... Uh, I think I'm leaning probably towards the circles because circles are notoriously hard to cut out. So, you know, to have to do that by hand, I could yeah. do the squares if I had to with a craft knife. Not that I would want to, but a circle's a whole different thing. Mm. So, again, I'm going to pop some of the glue on the back of this one, keep it nice and flat, and then I'm going to raise the sentiment again. And what I've done is I've used one of the little pieces that was actually the die cut out of the middle. Just get rid of those glue strands out of the middle there. So this one's going to go on here like so and then we're going to pop i've got some ribbon which we're going to make a little hanging loop and we've got a nice bow for the front here so i'm just going to bring that hot glue back and pop on the back here oh, oh. or we're not, not as the case may be glue. So already somebody turned it off. So again, I'll just pop a little bit of the double-sided tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little loop, which is going to be a hanging loop there. Oh, uh, OK. On the back. And then on the front here, I would actually prefer to use the hot glue for that, but we'll do it with the, uh, the tape runner there. And that's going to go on the top. So again, just give that a good press. So you've got your little loop for hanging there. Yeah. And then what I've done is I've taken one of these that I'd die cut out of the middle, backed it onto the black again, and then just use this one's out of the verse compendium there. It always seems impossible until it's done. And then the last thing, we're going to pop some little foam squares on there again so that we've got the sentiment. So it's up to you, you know, whether you raise the actual a piece with the apertures in or whether you want to raise the piece that's got the sentiment on so different ways to do it you could keep it all flat like i say if you're posting something it's sometimes better to keep the whole thing flat so again just to take those off and then we're going to pop that one back as if it's raised in the center there there's plenty so of love for this project little, as well by the way inspirational quote there but again mm. if i flip that one round now you can see you've got that little hanging 
decoration there. But again, that would look terrific. I just, I love the idea of the photos. Yeah, I so do. So whoever came up with that one, I think I'm going to have to try that. I can see this hanging on my bedroom wall with my little Toby sat looking at me out of those uh, windows there, yeah. Super Fantastic. Cute. So that was the last one there, yeah. Oh, brilliant. What a brilliant show. Uh, Patricia just saying, such a fun show today. And lots of love for the samples. I'm glad we just spent a few moments there showing you some of the samples before that demo. Susan just saying, those samples are gorgeous. Thank you to all of the um, CC makers. Uh, Dana Glass on YouTube. I love this card. Such pretty ink blending. Jan always inspires me to get crafty. And uh, Crafty Angie on YouTube says, I am digging the dark one, Jan. Uh, yeah, so lots and lots of love for that, um, that last demo. And if you have just joined us, I would encourage you to go back and watch the show from the start, particularly if you are jumping in now to grab this collection, because you will be able to follow uh, the five brilliant demos that Jan brought to us over the course of the last um, couple of hours or so. Uh, and they've all been so, so different to each other. And again, I think that shows off the versatility with this particular collection. So um, just before we recap again on all the deals on the show, let us remind you as to all of the makes that Jan has done for you over the course of the last two hours and you can get voting for your favourite. This is going to be a tough one. It is and we've got the one from this morning as well so we're going to end up two of this range aren't we? In the, we are. Uh, in the show. Because yeah, the hearts won this morning didn't they? It was wasn't mm. it? Yeah. So we started off at the top of the show then keeping it nice and simple with the squares and the chevrons in that autumn design so that was number one. Then we went over to the circles and we had that little woodland animal there peeping oh, yeah, away. Cute. You're a hoot. That was number two. And then number three, we went to the gift box. So again, we did the little shaker element there with the hearts and made it into a little box instead. So we've got the, uh, you know, you can fit lots of things inside there. Yeah. So that was number three. Number four, we went horizontal oh, that was a good and one. we did the easel card. So you can see there with that lovely rose gold mirror card behind it is stunning. Okay, mm. and that papers were from the uh, Garden of Love collection. Yeah, the big 12 by 12 paper pad. That was number four. The Chuckle Brothers in the and gallery like that one. Number five was the darker one. So the cosmic -y one there with the little wall hanging there. So one, two, three, four or five. Oh, I think I like the box. You like the box? Best, I think, yeah. Uh, and as I say, Adam and uh, Johnny, the gallery have gone for number four. They're going for the easel card. The easel card. Yeah. So which one are you voting for? That's the most important thing. Don't listen to us. We, our votes don't count. Uh, whether you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, you've got mm, about three minutes to get your votes in um, on that and we will crown the demo of the show. Just to quickly recap again on this collection, it has safely been a very, very uh, popular collection. We knew straight away this morning when we brought it to you for the first time on Wake Up Call and gave you that sneaky peek uh, that you love this, just for the fact that, you know, 4 a.m. on the West Coast, 7 a.m. on the East Coast, so many of you were up uh, and shopping very sensibly as well because you knew that these would fly out the door. Um, so within your um, cut and embossed folders, you're gonna get the beautiful, pretty polka dots. Uh, also, the hearts. I really like this card as well. Who made this one? Uh, Michelle Shepperson. Beautiful. Really, really love it in the slimline uh, design for you. We know how popular the slimline cards are currently. So these are just going to be so well used, I'm sure. Um, and then also, uh, you've got the square chevrons. Again, you've seen these in action today. Love this uh, card, which was made by uh, Monica. Again, using actually some of the components from a collection that we're bringing you later on on creative cravings so lots of different ideas lots of different designs lots of inspiration and what i would say is again just to reiterate that deal it's brand new today here on crafters tv you're not paying full price in fact you're only paying for two and we're giving you three. That's how great the deal is today. Uh, if you're a Platinum member, or indeed, if you're shopping with us for the first time, must just um, reiterate, if you go to uh, .com.co.uk or .eu, sign up for Club Inspire, it'll take you a couple of minutes, you'll get 20% off your first order, so the price down here is applicable to you as well as a first time shopper. £23.98 or $27.12 um, is the Platinum deal, but go quickly. Uh, we are heading towards, uh, well, 55% of the stock 
has almost gone. Just to also touch on for a second the Explorer kits, as we are rapidly running out of time. Um, this is a deal which we've rolled over from yesterday just because it was so super popular. Um, if you love the, um, the craft kits, this is a great excuse to maybe uh, complete your collection, add to your collection. You've got box number, you have to forgive me, 35. The mix and match is number 39. So um, this one is all about the embossing folders. Again, if you go back um, to the um, Earlier on in the show, you'll have seen this in more detail when Jan did uh, the unboxing there. Uh, that one, I say, has got 220 elements in it uh, with a selection of embossing folders and a cut and emboss folder in there as well. All exclusive content in these boxes too, don't forget. Uh, and the penny sliders, which I absolutely love. Um, just so super cool. Look, there's a dolphin in it. Yay! That's my dolphin impression. <laughs> You have to do your own sound effects. The dolphin doesn't make that noise. <laughs> Adam just says that's better than your Piers Brosnan impression. <laughs> I'll give you that one. Uh, you've got your dolphin, your unicorn, and you've got a little mouse in there as well. 195 elements in total. Of course, you've got your consumables in there, but come the end of it, you'll still have your, um, your dies in there and your stamps to keep uh, forevermore. Do we have a winner? They're shouting from the gallery. Yes, we do have a winner. What do you reckon, Jan? I would have said, I think between the two that you guys had voted for. It is. Yeah, I would say between these two, just because they're a bit different. But so is it number three or is it number four? Three is the box. Yep. Mm. It is number four. I think that's a great choice, to be fair. Yep. Lovely. Thank you very much, guys. Um, yeah. Absolutely stunning. We will add that one to our Crafty Walk of Fame. Yeah. So you'll be voting for a, a Jan card today. <laughs> uh, if you missed the uh, card Jan made earlier, we'll recap on that later on. Uh, but Creative Cravings is on the way. Uh, what have you got up your sleeve as far as demos Ooh, are concerned let's there, Jan? Have a look now then. We've got some of the brush lettering coming back up. I've done a couple of different ones with that. We have got those brilliant numbers and stencils, which are coming handy for absolutely any occasion. So I've got a demo with those and I've got some demos with that gorgeous watercolour collection as well which I've really enjoyed playing with absolutely uh, it is going to be a brilliant couple of hours a little bit later on I'm really looking forward actually to bringing you that uh, watercolour Christmas collection too which is back including because I thought it had sold out the faux snow um, is in that collection along with the beautiful frozen forest um, aqua pens as well those are also included or the tricolours I should say uh, are included in that collection so um, a really really uh, great bundle uh, and also, yes, like Jan's uh, said, we've got those beautiful numbers in. Uh, and what else did you say, Johnny? Oh, yes, the hero tool, the buddy bags. We've got a selection of the uh, Totally Tiffany buddy bags coming your way as way, well. <laughs> including, yes, uh, Katty's in there, isn't she? Shelley's in there, Brandy's in there, and also Barbara <laughs> uh, from Yorkshire. Um, she, she's, uh, she's also in that collection as well uh, but whatever you're doing make sure you check out your baskets particularly please if you've got this collection don't do that thing where you go oh well come back later on and i'll check out because if you do that you then might forget and then you might be reliant on coming back on to second chance sunday when i think this collection will probably have gone if it keeps selling at the rate it's been going during this show um, it won't be here don't take the risk Grab it now, £23.98 or $27.12 um, is the uh, price on this if you're platinum. Um, and I just think it's a super versatile. Very quickly, Jan, before we do wrap up, for anyone who sat on the fence, why do they need to go for this collection? I just think ease of use. Um, wow factors on the cards with very, very simple. They're almost like the creator card of the embossing family. So just by running that folder through the, the machine, it's doing all the work for you. And then you can decorate it however you wish with whatever components from your kits. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we are looking forward to seeing you later on. And Gilmore, I will give you the last word on the show here. Gilmore says, Ben, Adam just took the words out of my mouth. Your dolphin, is, your dolphin impression <laughs> is better than your Pierce Brosnan impression. <laughs> we'll see you later. 
for credit cravings, the name's Punt. James Punt. Goodbye.